why. Not what, not how, but why. One word that just might be the most powerful force in all existence. And no one knows this better than any child. Why is the sky blue, he asks. Why do bees sting? Why does it rain? His inquisitive nature is a force of nature threatened only by a noxious reply because that's how God made them. The boy grows, and yet the reply remains the same. He asks why less and less. The most powerful force in all existence has petered out. Or has it? The embers remain. Kept aglow by those few brave enough to refuse such a narrow answer to such complex questions. Like Hypatia, victim of her own unerring whys, which shone like a beacon above Alexandria in an age that would rather kill than seek truth. And Galileo, accused of heresy for his answers that today eclipse all memory of the lives of his lowly accusers. Or Ingersoll, with his political ascent at stake, still refusing to be silenced. Nothing could be more dangerous than to introduce religion into politics, he reasoned. And like Darwin, mocked by peers and the public alike for his theory of evolution. And Shelley, marched out of Oxford for writing what Oxford now reveres. Or Wollstonecraft, labelled a freak for her thoughts that today help define our daily lives. Centuries upon centuries of adversity, and yet these same societies do not hesitate to relish the spoils such inquiring minds produce. They watched in wonder as Armstrong walked on the moon. They marvel at DNA sequencing. They light their cities and live their lives through inventions that could only have come from minds which were bold enough to break the molds and keep asking why. Such irony is cruel, and it may dishearten, but not today. No, today we hold our course. For every flame they have dampened, today we add twice the fuel. Here in Melbourne, 2012, we arrive from all corners, strengthened by how far we've come and focused on how far we have to go. We remember the question makers who have come before us. We remember the brilliant mind who left us less than a year ago, who left us to carry forward this most vital torch. We stoke the embers. We fan the flames. We never stop asking why.